doing? Good? Good? Fantastic. Good. Brother Man, how it going? Pretty good. I'd like to hear. So I'd like to hear. Hello, Brownsburg High School, and thanks for watching BHS TV. Today is Friday, March 9th. I'm Brian Bandy. And I'm Brian Bandy, and here's what's going on at BHS. Earlier this week, BHS Deca students headed downtown for their state competition. Congratulations to the following students on their awards. Robbie Fiscus, Sam Hughes, and Kyle Allen, second place startup business plan. Derek Linville, Lorraine Machira, and Tiffany Trans, second place community service project. Sam Vonderhe and Gabby Whitus, third place business operations research event, buying and merchandising operations. Miranda Peak and Michelle Nixon, second place advertising campaign. Bryce Dixon, third place business services marketing role play. Grace Ulmer, second place retail merchandising role play. Gabe Chumley and Jake Berry, fourth place hospitality services. Moises Camacho, Hayden Bailey, Lindsay Machira, Joey Breedlove, Garrett Best, Bryce Dixon, and Jackson Prio, all competency medallion winners for their event. Ryan Porath and Madeline Floyd, Honorable Mention, Learn, and Earn Chapter Project. Anna Santiago and Ava Davidson, Honorable Mention, Creative Marketing Chapter Project. Adam Pritchard was elected as a Region 5 President for the DECA State Board of 2018-2019. 17 of the students listed above will be going to international competition in Atlanta, Georgia. Good luck. Next Tuesday, March 13th, BHS will be holding a Spring Blood Drive. You can sign up for a time slot during lunch this week. You must be at least 16 years old with a consent form to participate. Please see a Chainlink member during lunch to sign up, or Mrs. Best or Ms. Boffman with any questions. Seniors, the BHS local scholarships are now available. Visit the guidance website for the scholarship listing and step-by-step -step instructions on how to apply. The deadline is 11.59 p.m. on Friday, April 6th. Scholarship recipients will be recognized at the May 9th Senior Awards Night, and recipients will be notified in early May. Do you have an opinion about the men's Big Ten basketball tournament having been played in New York City this year? Visit the paw print online at www.bhsnews.net to read Trent Osborne's opinion on the issue. Next Wednesday, March 14th, the Brownsburg PSG will be selling Chick-fil-A after school to raise money for scholarships. You can buy a sandwich outside the Senior Academy for $4. On Monday, March 12th, BHS will be hosting another FAFSA Day, in which financial aid experts from InvestEd will be here to assist families in filing the 2018-2019 FAFSA. Please inform your parents of this event. It will take place in the main building media center, Computer Lab B, from 4 to 7 p.m. Enter through door 3. The SAT this Saturday will take place at Brownsburg East Middle School. Students need to enter door 7 at East Middle School at 7.45 a.m. Testing will begin promptly at 8 a.m. Students must have a photo ID, an admission ticket, a calculator, and a number 2 pencil for testing. Environmental Club is looking for a few enthusiastic members. It is a great addition to any college resume and a super way to get involved. Join us on Thursdays after school in room C207. Snacks and good times will be provided. Controversy has swept the NCAA over the past few weeks and can have a serious implication on March Madness. Here's Trent Osborne with the story. March is usually a time of anticipation and excitement for college basketball fans all over the country, but this time around, the state of the game is shrouded in controversy. The FBI's investigation into the NCAA has come up with evidence of multiple legendary programs being involved with the payment of high school athletes including Duke, North Carolina, Kansas, and Michigan State. This is a terrible look for the NCAA and has brought into question the point of not paying these players up front in the first place. I actually do not think college athletes should be given a salary. I think um, their pay is their education. If they get a free education, then I think that should take care of it. I think um, only professional athletes should get paid. All right. Arizona coach Sean Miller was reportedly found on an FBI wiretap discussing the payment of $100,000 to Player of the Year candidate and current Wildcat DeAndre Aiden. Other players named in the report include former number one pick Markel Fultz, Lakers rookie Kyle Kuzma, and current Michigan State superstar Miles Bridges. Should these players be punished for taking the money, or should the blame fall solely on the universities? That's one of those that's, that's tough. I think, you know, again, if you knowingly violate those rules, I think there's a consequence for everybody, the coaches, the schools, the players involved. This could have major implications on March Madness, as multiple top-tier teams could be deemed ineligible for the tournament as early as tomorrow. Should the universities be considered ineligible, or should the punishments fall solely on the players and coaches involved? Um, I don't think so. I think that everyone should just realize that 
everybody's getting paid. Uh, and I think that if you do get caught, then I think they should just be like maybe a game suspension, but I don't think you should get left out the tournament for it. Despite the dark cloud currently hanging over the NCAA, March Madness looks as if it'll be as good as ever. Trent Osborne, BHS TV. Good story, Trent. And while we're on sports, let's pass it over to Robbie. Hey, Robbie, what do you have for us today? Hey, guys. Even though it's cold out, spring sports are underway. The track and field teams traveled to IU on Wednesday night for their second indoor meet of the season. For the girls, Shauncee Gregg finished fifth in the 60 hurdles, Joyce Opton finished fifth in the 60 meter dash, the 4x800 team of Brooke Dixon, Carly Altier, and Gabby Bishy finished first, and the distance medley relay team of Brooke Dixon, Allie Becky, and Gabby Bishy also finished first. In the field events, Taya Nibbs placed runner-up in the long jump, Mackenzie Barrett also had a runner-up finish in the high jump, and Ronnie Roberts and Kaylee Price placed third and seventh in shot put. On the boys' side, Lee Nuttall broke the school record in the 60-meter hurdles, but that record was again broken by Tyrone Griffin just a few minutes later. In the 60-meter dash, Shai Sumter Bay finished sixth, and Bryce Kurtz broke his own school record, placing second. The 4x200 relay team of Shai Sumter Bay, Bryce Kurtz, Lee Nuttall, and Trey Fisher finished third and set a new school record. In the field events, DJ Terrell placed fifth in the pole vault, and Lee Nuttall finished fourth in the long jump. Both the boys and girls will travel to Wabash for the HCC indoor meet on Saturday. Good luck. 2018 baseball season will begin this Monday, March 12th, from 6 to 9 p.m. in the Varsity Fieldhouse. Please have all of your favorite information in order and wear baseball attire, including a hat. No shorts, please. Tryouts will conclude March 15th. Now let's take a quick look at some of the spring sports start dates. The softball team will get underway on March 20th when they travel to Harrison. Baseball will have a scrimmage the next night on March 21st against Indian Creek. The girls' tennis team will take on Terre Haute South on April 7th, and Unified Track and Field have their first meet of the season on April 17th. That's it for sports today. Back over to you guys. Thanks, Robbie. Now let's pass it over to Cam to tell us what this weekend forecast is going to look like. Hey guys, it's not spring yet. We will continue to see some fairly cold temperatures in the next few days. Today will be partly cloudy with a high of 41 degrees and a low of 25 and no chances of rain. Tomorrow should be sunny most of the day with a high of 45 and a low of 28 and again no chances of rain. On Sunday it will again be partly cloudy with a high of 44. Don't forget to spring your clock forward to one hour before you go to bed on Saturday night. Have a great weekend. Back over to you guys. Thanks, Cam, and that's all we got for you today, BHS. Thanks for watching, and sadly, you won't see us on Monday, but you'll see us next Wednesday.